Hello and welcome back! We are very excited about getting back to the basics with you guys. Since last week, our focus has been on getting you well acquainted with MetaTrader 4, so navigation for you will be much easier. We will start by logging in. Your platform should start with a pop-up ready for you to fill in your credentials. If it doesn't, all you have to do is go up to the File drop-down menu and opt for Login. Enter your credentials. Those are your account number and password. Make sure the server is the relevant one, whether you're trying to log into your demo account or your live account. And make sure the Save Account Information box is ticked, then click Login. Pay mind to the status bar that sits at the bottom of your terminal, which shows you whether or not you're logged in successfully. If you see green bars and moving numbers, you're good to go. First off, you need to know how to get your navigator up. The shortcut you need for this is Control N for navigator. The navigator shows you a few things. The accounts you've signed in with in list form, both demo and live. Now the demo accounts have green jackets, while the live accounts have gold jackets. If you double click on the desired account, you can jump back and forth without having to use your credentials every time. You will also notice that right at the top of the terminal, there is a mention of which account you are signed into, as well as whether or not it's demo or live. You can also find your indicators listed here, as well as any EAs you might have. The expert advisor we are providing you is Traders Compass, the course side notifier. You will also find a drop down list of your custom indicators as well. In the standard toolbar, you will see a little icon with a folder and a star. This is your navigator shortcut that will allow you to remove and add your navigator to your screen. Next, we will add our market watch, which also has an icon which is a chart with an upward arrow and a downward arrow. Your market watch shows you a list of all the symbols you can trade as well as all the bid and ask prices. To ensure you have the full list, right click anywhere in your market watch and click show all and all hidden symbols will become visible. It is quite an exhaustive list, so you might want to visit the new charts icon below file and see the categorized instruments. Also, you will be able to rearrange the order of instruments according to what you would like. You may want all your regular traded instruments to be at the top of the list and easily accessible, for instance. The shortcut for Market Watch is Control M. Opening the chart window will be our next move. If you right click on the selected symbol in the Market Watch and opt for Chart Window, you will be able to see the graph associated with the instrument in question. The graph comes up in the default setting. We can zoom into the graph if we wish to see more detail. Here we see that we're looking at the pound against the dollar, with each bar representing one hour. We will take our grid off now using the Ctrl G shortcut. The periodicity bar expresses that whatever periodicity you're on, is the time value of the bars or candles. This means that if we're on a one hour chart, it means each candle or bar represents an hour. If we're on a one minute chart, each bar or candle represents a minute. And if we're on the one day chart, it means each bar or candle represents a day. Now, we will switch to the candlestick chart so we can customize our template. F8 is a shortcut that will allow us to bring up our properties pop up. All right, now hold on. Remember all we discussed concerning the colors we see in the market watch and the new order window? 
Do you recall the principles we drew on to understand trading? When selling, in order for us to see a profit, the price has to depreciate and therefore appreciation will bring forth loss. Downward movement is what we desire when we sell and therefore the bear is in charge and that's when you make short trades. When buying, appreciation brings forth profit, therefore depreciation will bring forth loss. We want to see upward movement when we buy, that shows that the bulls are in charge and that's when we'll long the instrument we believe is going to appreciate over X amount of time. With this in mind, we will go ahead and adjust the colors of the chart so that it agrees with what we see in the market watch and in our new order window. Now, we will save the template for future use. Now that it's saved, we can open a new chart and adjust the representation instantly by selecting the template we desire to use.